things I can't seem to let go And I feel like I'm all on my own And some days it gets worse And the memories hurt But I hope that one day I let go I know I get mad, too mad And I don't wanna do that It hurts bad and I hate when the mood lasts I move fast and I try hard to move past All the pain cause I'm looking for a bright side In my mind cause you only got one life Need advice from the future, am I alright? If this fight feels like something from your own life Then one time let me hear you sing Sometimes things don't get hard and leave you Covered in scars but I know I can get out of this And I feel like life moves way too fast to hold on to things from the past so good but to things I'll never miss We don't run, now we stand together and hold on Through the angry weather we all want to make something better I know And my trust has been torn and shredded, it's been rough But I try to forget it and move on to a place where I can grow Holding back, I'm coming and coming fast I know what I wanna have, the dream is to detach from All that is bad, the things holding me back The people that didn't last, the evil that kept me mad This is my life, it's my time to do things just how I like My runway for the lights, I'ma take flight And my God is my purpose and my fight If you feel the same, let me hear you say Sometimes, things don't get hard and leave you Covered in scars, but I know I can get out of this and I feel like life moves way too fast to hold on To things from the past so good, but to things I'll never miss Stuff in this closet I didn't even know was in this closet, like, you know, just like keeps big things. Um you know, keepsake things. My best friend at, when I worked at uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris, she made me these, they're like coasters. Like from the day we spent there together, after we both didn't work there anymore. Photos. These are really, really old photos here. Oh, these are from like high school. High school pictures. And these were my best friends in high school. Well, of course, these things I'm not throwing out. Um, mostly everything else in the closet I'm throwing out, but anything like, you know, that I come across like this, of course, like, no way I throw that stuff out. Good morning, everybody. We are in the car with Merlin on the way to the groomer. I'll talk loud because the windows are open. Don't let him scratch the front there. Um, car exhaust. It is uh, Tuesday, two days before my son will be discharged from the hospital. And if you know and watch the part one of this video, If you watched part one of this video, you know that we are trying to get everything cleaned up at home before he comes home. So it's nice and and clean and all the things that we usually can't do when he's there because, you know, people being in the condo or noise would bother him, blah, blah, blah. Part one, if you didn't see it, I'll link it below in the description. So we have already gotten a lot done at home, emptied out the back closet in the sunroom. Uh, we have the bombers going off. You know, we bought bombers to kill any kind of mold, bacteria. It kills everything. Like, this is like what hospitals use. It like if you read the package, like it literally kills everything. Like tuberculosis. Like what kind of stuff was it? Anyways, awesome stuff. The bombs are set off. Only three of the bombs I bought. I bought a case, so there was six in the case. Only three work. Um, but that's fine because it's really just the back area um, near the sunroom that needs it. 
the rest of the condo doesn't really need it, so whatever. But I'll still call them and see if they'll give me a partial refund for that. Um, as far as the rug goes, as far as the rug goes, Stanley Steamer did call me back uh, this morning, and they are going to send out a different team this afternoon to come redo the rugs. Because I told her, you know, like I know the rug is old and I know it's not going to like be clean as, look clean as if it was new, but like they didn't even try. <laughs> they didn't even try. They were there for 15 minutes and did like one Passover and left. You know, I'm like, I explained that my son was in the hospital and I just wanted to be clean before he comes home. And you know, like they didn't use any enzyme stuff, whatever, whatever. So they're sending somebody out today. I contacted um, a different company for the junk removal um, to come pick up the treadmill and then some other small things that we want them to take. And they're coming today too, between one and three. We're on our way to take Merlin to the groomer. Um, so he can be fresh and clean, fresh and clean. Um, and then we have to stay out of the condo for two hours while the bombs are bombing. So we have some errands. We're gonna go to Home Depot and we're gonna go, I don't know, Big Lots or Target or somewhere. We need to get some pillows, some new pillows. And um, what else? We'll probably have some lunch somewhere since you know, he's coming home Thursday, so this will be like the last day. Hold on. This will be the last day that she and I get to do anything by ourselves. And we never get to actually like eat out at restaurants. We can like order food home, but we never get to eat out. So I'm going to let her pick where she wants to like have a quick lunch today. And then we're going to go home and we are going to clean everything and hopefully get everything done today. Um, probably won't get everything done today probably just the cleaning because we'll still need to paint um, I want to paint the uh, back wall in the sunroom we have a new table to put together and a new desk chair to put together to put back in the sunroom where he hangs out and spends most of his time because that's where his computer goes can you think of anything else he's enjoying the car right when he first gets in the car, he sounds like a monkey, but then he enjoys it. So anyways, we'll see you in a minute. I get two, and I'll get some washcloths too. These are three dollars as well. We need a pillow for like stomach and side sleepers. Back. Which one is for stomach and side? I think I'm gonna go with this one. How does that one feel? This one's like gel or something. Yeah, just get the regular one. Yeah, get the higher number one. There you go. Oh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Like stand it up or something. Oh no, here, put it sideways. There we go. There we go. Oh look, it's like a little mini of the kind that I have, but that it's green. That's like the one I have. What color is yours? That color. Oh, there's mine right here. Ooh, look at that blue. That's pretty. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Um, which one looks most like his? Here's a gray one. Oh, another sprayer. For the cleaner stuff. This is a three pack. So we'll look for the bucket kind at Home Depot then. Please pause. We always we went with peaceful blue. 
and then um yes they're very pretty aiden would tear those up oh those change color um this is like um something they recommended to add to the paint so we're gonna you know treat the walls clean the walls and then mix this in with the paint and then paint the walls um, once the walls are dry and that's with a satin paint so it kind of it makes it like easier to clean and helps prevent any further growth is this one fragrance i think it's the same i like this You're telling me that like eight, eight, eight feet? You can't reach eight, eight feet, nine inches? You there can't rip? Shelves. I know, but if you're standing on the top, the top thing, which is two feet, three inches, and you're how tall? Five, seven, eight, five, eight, that you can't reach the top shelf. This is so dirty. How much is this? I'm covering the Fifty dollars? Holy shit. Oh, this one says airborne particles, dust, debris, pollen, smoke. Airborne. Airborne. Can it, why is everything in the store dirty? Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's ours. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's kind of big. Do we really need that big of a scrub brush, or can we just use the little one? And this one is small, so you can get it in the cracks of stuff. And it's cheaper. That's good. All right, so the, we got the mask, the toilet cleaner, the step ladder, the paint, the thing for the thing, and the scrubby. That's it, let's go pay. Are we just going to the nearest one? Yeah, what's the nearest one? So she has decided mm -hmm. that she wants to eat at Olive Garden. I'm having salad. She's eating breadsticks. Their salad is one of my favorite things to eat ever, but there was only one olive in this entire salad And it's Olive Garden Here's our lunch total. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do 12. Complete the payments. Visa. Potato, show them Merlin. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not the same dog. <laughs> All right, so the treadmill is gone. Don't look at those stats, they're not correct. So, um, we just cleaned the floor with a special spray, move these things back. She's starting the laundry, and oh my god. We've been tearing everything up. I gotta go back there and scrub that sunroom. All right, so part two of carpet cleaning. Um, they came back, they were here for about an hour. Um, different people came out. Um, it looks better. You can still see the high traffic area. Like that's just, I mean, that's just what it is. Cause you know what I'm saying? But like the other stains, seem to come out. Let me go from the other side to take a look. Let me get past over here. Okay, so um looks better, you know. And I think it'll look 
um, better once it dries. We have been cleaning since we got home from all our errands and after we picked up Merlin. Um, I, it's already 4.40. Um, I'm just calling the hospital to check on my son. I have the room number, but when I dial that, it's busy. So I don't know if it's like um, you can't dial from the outside or what, but or maybe my son turned on the phone and they're not paying attention. Um, so I'm gonna call and check on them. I wanted to be out of here by five so I could spend the evening there, you know, um, cause he, he had a pretty rough day yesterday and um, he's just tired of being there. So I wanna try to get back, but like we still have so much to do. Like most of our, what are you doing Marla? Most of our time has been spent um, just scrubbing down the sunroom and um, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Like, uh, we did a little bit in the living room. Um, she's working on the, the dishes right now. I'm gonna go back there and um, paint the closet so that can dry so we can um, get the stuff moved back into the closet and that gives us more space in the sunroom so we could paint the rest of it. Well, kids, it's 8.02 and I am just now heading back to the hospital. I did not plan on being this late back to the hospital. I wanted to finish by like 4 or 5 o'clock and head back then. So I hope he is not upset. And see, the thing is, like, I don't know how much he understands of, like, him being there, you know? I don't know if he thinks, like, that's where he lives now. I mean, because he's been there, I think today is day 28 so for quite a long time and um you know especially with like me leaving you know that's probably confusing to him like you know why do i get to leave but he has to stay like i don't know how much you know he understands of the situation and so he you know i know it stresses him out and he's tired of being there so but there's so much that has to be done at home and it has to be done you know so and it's for him so you know, it just, it doesn't matter. It still makes me feel bad. Anyway, the sunroom is almost painted completely. <clears throat> I got um, all the, like, the trim work done except for around the floor. I still have to do that. And then there's, you know, we've got a, there's some spots that need to be gone over for a second coat and some spots that still need to be painted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the hospital. I'm going to stay with him. Um, there until he falls asleep and then I'm gonna leave go back home. I want to finish the goal is to finish painting the sunroom tonight and then um, Put the stuff back in the closet that goes in the closet You know put his desk back where it goes clean the floor really good and then either very early tomorrow morning or tomorrow night go back and get the chair put together and the table put together, get his 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 room all back together. The the laundry that we were trying to do, my my daughter put too much in one load. Um, it had like towels and a blanket and like a bunch of other stuff. And so it didn't and sheets, so it didn't dry all the way. Um, and somebody was like coming to use the dryer. So she took it out when it was still damp. It didn't dry all the way. She took it out when it was still damp because someone was like trying to get the dryer that we were using. They were waiting for it. And she didn't tell me that right away. So then she asked like, what am I supposed to do with all this damp clothes when it was like already late? Um, so that's why I stayed so long at home because we were trying to get that laundry dry. It did not dry all the way. So at some point we need to like divide that into two loads and maybe do like one load tonight, one load in the morning. And then that way we can get his room uh, put back together, all the clean sheets and blankets and everything on his bed. And then we should be good to go. Cause like it shouldn't take too long to straighten up the kitchen and you know, sweep and mop through and and that's gonna have to be it. It is 2.07 a.m. A.m. And 
and um, he is still awake. Can you see me? That boy is still awake. I looked because I, I mean, how late I got to sleep. So the plan was you know, for him to go to sleep and then, you know, I leave, go home, finish the painting, put the stuff back in the closet and clean the floor and then sleep and then come back and, you know, be all, here all day Wednesday with him, leave. Wednesday night after he falls asleep, finish up anything that has to be done. And then come back. Then he gets discharged the next day. You know, after he has his last dose of antibiotics, after he gets the central line, he has, he's got to go under surgery, has to go under anesthesia, has to have the central line removed and, you know, then we leave. It's now to await. I am not going to go home and paint. So, I mean, there's still probably stuff on my bed that's got to be moved off because, you know, the, the carpet cleaners came out. Anyways, I'm going to go home and I'm going to sleep. And then I'm going to wake up, put laundry in, paint, and get do all the things I said in the back room while the laundry is going when the laundry is done I'll take a shower and then I'll come back to the hospital um, it's uh, March 27th 1235 p.m. I'm heading back to the hospital it is the day before discharge this is the outro the room in the back is demolded and painted the painting is done everything's back in the closet uh, all the trash is out of there uh, the only thing left to do in there is get a real good sweep and mop yes sir and then um only one more little laundry to do with his sheets and all of his sheets will be nice and fresh his blank is fresh the carpet is as fresh as it's gonna be and and that's it everything else in his room has already been wiped down and cleared out and all that good stuff so um we're, we're we're pretty good so I'm gonna go to the hospital and spend the day with him hopefully he falls asleep at a good hour and then I'll come back and my daughter and I will put the chair for him together and the table together for the back room and you know depending how much time I have I'll probably do some cleaning up in the kitchen um, she has a list of things that she's going to do because she's actually home now um, so you know so I don't have to worry about like coordinating all that and stuff tomorrow and um, we're, we're just we're, we're she's gonna be working all day and then I'm gonna get home and we're gonna put those things together and it's gonna be good and I can't wait to take him home he's gonna be so happy he's gonna be so happy He's gonna be so happy and then we're just gonna rest um, I have reached 10,000 subscribers so thank you guys very much that is just mind-blowing I cannot believe it so um, the next live will probably not be until Monday the day after Easter just because I want some time for us to be at home and just decompress and relax and sleep and cook and eat nice things and etc. All right, so that's the end of this video. I'm going to um, record as much as I can on the day of discharge, us leaving the hospital, and um, and then after we get our rest and all of that good stuff and have a live, and then I will um, get back to dashing and have dashing videos again. So how about that? How about that, everybody? All right, that's it. Oh, look, doggies in the room. Two fluffy white doggies. Um, that's all. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys on the next one.